Hi everybody, this is Justin Moss and I'd like to welcome you to my series of drawing a portrait on toned tanned mixed media paper. This is video number two of three in this series. Today I'm going to talk to you about materials, right? Um, it's the biggest question I get asked when people talk to me about my portraits. Um, so the first thing obviously is the paper. Uh, in this case I'm working with Strathmore toned tan mixed media paper, but their toned tan sketch um, works just about the same. Um, they offer it in gray or tan um, and, and they, they both work great. So the first thing I use obviously is graphite. Um, I use a Prismacolor ebony, but really any brand will do. Uh, 2 to 4B, which is kind of what that pencil is. Um, then a charcoal pencil, white charcoal, um, which is something that I obviously use in all of my drawings. Brand again doesn't matter too much. Um, a stick of Conte. Uh, this is for the really white highlights um, or the backgrounds. If you're familiar with my work, I quite often will block in some areas in the background. The third thing that I like to use is woodless um, graphite. So these are 6B, 8B. So I use these for the really dark areas. Um, but they're they're woodless, which means that there's no wood. Obviously, they're just wrapped in plastic. They, you, they allow you to lay down a lot of area at once, right? So they're really nice for the darks. A kneaded eraser. If you've never used one, you need to get one. Um, they work like a regular eraser, but they also can be shaped. They can pull text off. This is a um, a white eraser that I can that you can clip out and and get just really nice sharp areas. And this paper is so hardy that it doesn't damage it, right? Um, if that's not enough, an electric eraser. And again, uh, with some papers, you'd probably be worried. On this paper, I'm not. Um, tortillions, which are what are used to blend. You can see that I have one that's dark from the dark areas and one that's white from white areas. Um, I do use my fingers probably more than I should, but those are good for blending. Next, we have a pencil extender, right? You'll see a lot of times in any of my videos that I draw with my pencils in pencil extenders, right? Um, I use them so much that I actually put brand new pencils in the pencil extenders, but they're just wonderful. First of all, they're nice to grip. Um, but second of all, they extend your pencils. You can see I have these tiny little ones. You know, you're spending a few dollars on each pencil. It's worth getting pencil extenders, right? So if you ever, people always ask me, well, what kind of pencil is that? It's just a regular pencil, but it's in an extender. Okay. And then the last thing is a sharpener, right? I, I use a brass sharpener, but really anything will do. So before we get into the drawing, which is what the last uh, video is going to be, I want to show you what I'm going to draw. Okay. So this is a portrait of a, of a girl named Maddie. Um, and why did I pick this, this image to use? A lot of times I work from more than one photo, but in this case, we're going to streamline it and just work off of this one. Okay. Um, one of the things I like, first of all, is the way that her, her face is sort of a little off centered, right? Um, she's got some nice things happening with her main features, obviously the eyes, the nose and the mouth, right? Her eyes have a lot of life in them. We don't know exactly what she's thinking in the pose. Um, her nose has got this sort of beautiful shape and then there's just light, right? You can see the shadows on the side, the highlights on the side around her eyes around the nose, right? And it's just a lot of volume in this image and I think it'll make a really nice um, drawing. So hopefully you guys will stay with me on video number three. You'll see me um, start this and, and finish it all in with the magic of sped up drawings all in one uh, short clip, okay? Hopefully that's helpful and I'll see you guys in the next video.